Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's try to understand how to find sum of n natural numbers. Let's try to understand the given input as well as output. So input is 5, output is 15. Let's try to understand what is the explanation given. So we need to calculate sum of n natural numbers. So starting from 1 until the given value 5. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So we get the sum to 15. Similarly for 6, the output is 21. Similarly for 10, the output is 55. So that's it, something about the given question as well as the description. Now let's try to break down this into step by step and start solving it. So first we need to read the input, so which is a number. So later that we need a loop, so where we start from 1, we go until the given respect to number. If number is 5, we need to go until 5. If number is 20, we need to go until 20. So from 1 to number, we need to go that. And next we need a variable sum which accumulates each and every respect to value from the loop. So starting from 1, 1 plus 2, similarly so on with all the others. So after this entire calculation you reach until the number, you need to print the output which is sum. So let's try to understand. So maybe if I take two respective variables, so 1 to number as well as to sum. So taking 1 for number and 1 for sum. So this would be number and this would be sum. So let's assume the given explanation example itself. So assuming the number to be 5. And we all know that, so we need to start sum from 0. So when you start iterating your loop, so basically loop starts from 1. So when your i value is equal to 1, so simply we'll be adding that respect value to our sum. So 0 plus 1, the output would be 1. So next, i value would be incremented. So 1 plus, now current i value would be 2. So 1 plus 2, the accumulated sum would be 3. Similarly, 3 plus 3, so we get the output to be 6. Let's update our sum. Similarly, 6 plus 4, now i value is 4. 6 plus 4, we get the output to be 10. So 10 would be our sum at present. So now the last iteration, we need to go until 5. So 10 plus 5, so we get the output to be 15. So now our loop is done. So once our loop is done, what we are supposed to print? So just print the value of our sum. So this is the logic. So let's try to write down this code in our Visual Studio. So I have considered a folder called loops. I have created a file called sum of n natural numbers.py. So the first step, so we read the input from the user. So as we need to read the integer input, so number equals to end of input. So next, we need a variable called sum, so which we are trying to initialize to zero. So followed by that, we need a loop. So for i in range, so we start from 1, we need to go until the respect to number, we need to include that. So when you write number, so this would be excluded. So meaning if I want to start from 1, go until 5. So meaning if the number is 5, you go until 4 only. But even if you also want to include the value 5, the number should be 6. Similarly, instead of writing number, will you number plus 1. So at each and every respective step, you keep on adding the current i to your sum. So means 0 plus 1, 1 plus 2, so 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 4, 10, so 10 plus 5, 15. So at last, once your loop is done, we'll come outside the loop and we'll print our sum. So because we don't want to print our sum at each and every respective iteration of our loop. So once the loop is completed, we come outside that and then we'll try to print the value of sum. So let's try to run this code. Alright, so give the input 5. So getting the output to be 15. So let's take one more value gets to 10. The output to be 55. So this is our logic one. So basically time complexity of this program is, so this for loop is iterating n times. So basically if the value is 5, so you go 5 times. So time complexity of this program would be order of n. So let's write our time complexity. So time complexity order of n. So n would be basically the given value 5. So it would run 5 times. Maybe if the n value is 100, it runs 100 times. From the beginner point of view, if you don't understand what is time complexity also, it's fine. So at this moment, just try to understand how many number of iterations our program is trying to follow. So that uses the time complexity of our given program. So now this is order of n. That's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.